Good afternoon, I am Siddharth Sharma from Aria College of Engineering and IIT from Department of Mechanical Engineering. In this lecture, I will present dimensional analysis for free convection. In previous lecture, I, will, I, did, I have taught the dimensional analysis for the force convection. These are the con contents which I will cover that is dimensional analysis, dimensional analysis for free convection. And what do you mean by dimensionless number? So, dimensional analysis for free and force convection involves the following step. Determination of all parameters of the variable affecting convective heat transfer coefficient. Writing influencing parameters in terms of fundamental unit of mass, length, time and temperature. Developing mathematical expression for convective heat transfer coefficient in terms of fundamental units by using principle of dimensional homogeneity. Grouping of all influencing parameters into non-dimensional number. Hmm. Now dimension analysis for a free convection. In free convection, convection heat transfer process, convective heat transfer coefficient depends upon the same parameters or variable as in case of force convection expect velocity of the fluid it is on account of the fact that the in the free convection motion of the flu fluid occur due to difference in density of various layer of fluid caused by temperature difference whereas in case of force convection motion of the fluid is caused by an external source the fluid velocity in case of free convection depends upon the following parameter. First is temperature difference that is given by delta T. Acceleration due to gravity that is given by small g. And coefficient of volumetric expansion of fluid that is beta. The change in the volume when temperature changes can be expressed as dV is equal to V1. Beta T2 minus T1. dV is equal to V2 minus V1. Beta is equal to coefficient of volumetric T2 is final temperature and T1 is the initial temperature. Therefore, free convection heat transfer coefficient is a function of variable given in the table. And these are fluid viscous density that is rho, dynamic viscosity of the fluid mu, thermal conductivity K, specific heat Cp, characteristics land capital D, temperature difference delta T, T2 minus T1, final temperature minus initial temperature. Coefficient of volumetric equation beta and acceleration due to gravity small g. Their dimensions are given on the one fourth number column respectively. Therefore, convective heat transfer coefficient expressed as h is equal to function of rho mu k c p d delta t beta or g. However, in free convection, delta t beta and g will be treated as a single parameter. As the velocity of fluid particles in the functions in is it is a function of these parameters. Therefore, equation can be expressed as F is equal to H rho mu K C P D delta T beta and G putting together. Convective heat transfer coefficient H is dependent variable and remaining are independent variable. Total number of variable that is a small n is equal to 7 and m is equal to 4. So number of pi terms are 7 minus 4 that is equal to 3. So we will calculate pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. Each pi term written in terms of repeating variable and one variable and following repeating variable are selected. These are the repeating variable which you will select for finding the pattern that is dynamic viscosity mu, thermal conductivity k, fluid density rho, characteristics length capital D. Each pi term is expressed as pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. Pi 1 is equal to this. In terms of their fundamental dimension, we will write this by comparing the power of m, l, t and theta. And after resolving and rearranging the equation, we will get the equation number 35, which will give the B is equal to minus 1. As we will get the value of B, we will substitute the value of equation 35 in 32. Then we will get A is equal to 0. That is given by equation number 36. Substituting the value of A and B in equation number 34, we will get the equation number 37 which will give C is equal to 0. Uh, uh, similarly, we will calculate the value of D that is equal to 1. 
so num first pi term that is termed as pi 1 given by h d upon k similarly we will find the second pi term by putting the formula and by putting their dimensions pi 2 and comparing the equations of l t and theta we will get the value of a b c and d by putting the value of a b c and d in equation number 39 we will get the value of pi 2 that is equal to mu cp upon k that this formula is of prenatal number that is denoted by pr the third pi term similarly as pi 1 and pi 2 we will compare the dimension and by putting the value of a b c and d in equation number 47 we will get the third pi term that is equal to d3 delta t beta g upon u square that is given by equation number 52 so we will cal we have calculated the the value of pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 now substituting the value of pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 and equation number 30 function of this these variables are equal to this equal to 0 and we will get Nusselt number that is nu is equal to phi prandial into gr gr is the Grassoff number the above correlation is generally expressed as Nusselt number is equal to constant into prandial power a and Grassoff number is b the constant c and exponent a and b are determined through the experiment now we will come we will come through the dimensionless number these are the dimensionless number we will study first one is general number re prandial number pr nusselt number nu and mac number ma so general number it gives a measure of ratio of inertial and viscous force in fluid flow it is often used to determine if the flow is either laminar or turbulent in laminar flow viscous force dominant in turbulent flow inertia force are dominant the formula of renal number is rho vl upon mu if renal number is less than 2000 the flow is laminar if renal number is greater than 4000 the flow is turbulent if renal number is lie between the 2000 and 4000 the the flow is called transient. So flow is called transient. Now we will discuss the prandial number. The prandial number is a ratio of kinematic viscosity to the thermal diffusivity. The formula of prandial number is equal to Cp dot mu upon k, where Cp is equal to fluid specific heat capacity, mu is equal to dynamic viscosity, and k is equal to thermal kinetic. It gives a measure of relative thickness of the thermal and momentum boundary layers. Now, Nusselt number that is given by Nu. This is ratio of convective heat to a conductive heat transfer fluid over a given length L. At a Nusselt number of around 1 means that the convection and the conduction are about equal. Nusselt number is equal to H dot L upon K where I L is equal to characteristic length, K is equal to thermal conductivity and small h is equal to heat transfer coefficient. Mach number is given by small u upon capital A, a small a. u is equal to velocity of fluid and a is small is equal to speed of fluid motion. The Mach number is a ratio of fluid viscosity to the velocity of sound. In a chemical engineering, the Mach number is commonly used in calculation involving high velocity gas flow.